Jia Hao. I'm Jim Schneider, and this is Shanghai A to Z, a video series on daily life, culture, and travel destinations in Shanghai, China, and the only YouTube series without any mention whatsoever of Joe Rogan. Not counting that particular mention of Joe Rogan, and maybe some in the future. On today's episode, we take a look inside a historical travel destination in the heart of the city, Jing'an Temple. Learn about the role this ancient temple plays in Shanghai's past and present after a quick word from one of our sponsors. One of our sponsors is Daryl's Barrels. Daryl's Barrels is currently the only Barrel of the Month club on the market. Each month, a brand new handcrafted barrel arrives on your doorstep, ready to facilitate all your storage needs and looking great in the process. What you put inside them is really none of our business. We don't even want to know. But you could use our barrels to store everything from booze and drugs to arms and ammo, or even say human remains or toxic chemicals, for example. Our barrels come in different sizes, so you can even store barrels inside of barrels. Our barrels also come in a variety of durable materials from woods to plastics to metals that won't break down even against the harshest of elements. Order duplicates of the barrels you love and we'll ship them to you ASAP. Our annual subscription prices are so low, they're barely legal. Order now and get the barrel of the month plus our signature French oak wood barrel absolutely free. Find Daryl's Barrels online and enter the promo code Schneider slash wood for a mind-blowing discount on your first barrel order. And come October, you'll also receive our special Halloween-themed wearable barrel. If it's not a Daryl's Barrel, it's probably a terribly unbearable barrel. With Daryl's Barrels, it's not just another month, it's another great month, another great barrel. A barrel of laughs. Grab life by the barrel with Daryl's Barrels. And now back to today's topic, Jing'an Temple. Jing'an Temple is located in Shanghai's Jing'an District, which is actually named for the temple, not the other way around. It was first built in 247 AD during the Three Kingdoms period in Chinese history. But the original site, appearance, and even name of the temple were all different from the one that you can see today in downtown Shanghai. In the year 1216, during the Southern Song Dynasty, Jing'an Temple moved to its current location. Throughout history, it experienced numerous accidents and reconstructions, surviving wars and natural disasters. During the Cultural Revolution, it was converted into a factory and was only reopened for tourism in 1990. Jing'an Temple is located in one of the busiest commercial districts of Shanghai, which means you're just as likely to see a monk walking down the street as you are to see a business person rushing off to a meeting. There's a luxury shopping mall on one side of the temple, while the periphery of the temple is lined with small shops and restaurants. The main entrance to the temple is on the south side, where tickets must be purchased before entry. In addition to its religious significance, Jing'an Temple is also an important cultural and historical site, so it attracts tourists and visitors from all over the world. Visitors to the temple can observe traditional Buddhist rituals, such as incense burning and chanting, and they can casually explore as much of the temple as they like. Some rooms are off-limits to visitors, however, and those areas are clearly marked. And while picture-taking is allowed, it's also important to respect people's space, as many of them are there to worship. The temple is loaded with art and statues and lots of fascinating little details, so you can easily spend over an hour wandering around and just taking it all in and appreciating it. Opposite the temple, you'll find Jing'an Park, a small park with a walking path that makes for a quick getaway from the busy downtown and makes for some good people-watching and cat-watching opportunities. I've always found the cats in Jing'an Park to be friendly, but they can also be a bit timid. So if you want to get up close and personal with them, it's a good idea to bring something for them to eat. They'll cozy right up to you and hang out with you until all the food is gone, at which point you'll mean nothing to them. Such is life. I used to live near Jing'an Temple, and while I've only been inside a few times, I've always enjoyed passing by it, particularly in the evening when the temple is closed to visitors but the lights are on, and you can appreciate the shapes that the architecture cuts into the night sky. It's stunning. So in short, if you're ever in Shanghai and you're looking for a place to explore some ancient history or escape the hustle and bustle of the city and find some inner peace and serenity, be sure to check out Jing'an Temple. All right, all you adventure lovers and adrenaline junkies out there, it's time for me to tell you about Ascendia Sports, a 100% real and legitimate business owned and operated by my friend Josh, a 100% real and legitimate businessman. 
not one of those heartless business bots you've been hearing about on the news. So what is Ascendia Sports? Well, it is your go-to booking website for adventure sports and activities around the globe. Go ahead and click on the link in this video's description or type A-S-C-E-N-D-I-A dash S-P-O-R-T-S dot C-O-M into your favorite web browser and then select the country or region that you're living in or visiting to explore your options. Choose from a wide range of activities like skydiving, paragliding, rafting, and many more. Let Ascendia Sports help you add some adventure to your life. Visit their website today and choose your adventure. And don't forget to select Jim Schneider A to Z in the How Did You Find Us section while you're booking. Your next adventure is waiting for you at Ascendia Sports. And one more thing. Did you know that you can watch another Shanghai A to Z video on this same topic, but in Chinese, with your choice of subtitles in Chinese or English? It's great to watch if you're learning Chinese like me, or if you're just Chinese language curious. There's no law against that. Look for the playlist Shanghai A to Z parentheses Mandarin on my channel and watch any of the videos that appeal to you. Watch them all, like them, share them, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more engaging content on Shanghai and world travel, culture, and other stuff. Because subscribing to my channel costs you nothing, but it means everything to me. Thanks for watching this episode of Shanghai A to Z, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.